What's going on, everyone? It's your hobby hound here, Wolf Wolf. So, uh, this is, I think is my second box of Stadium Club uh, 2023 that I've opened on the channel. I think I opened one, um, you know, not recording it. I was doing a lot of that while I was recouping from my surgery. Um, just, just didn't feel like recording and uh, still had the itch to open. So, yeah, 2023 Stadium Club Blaster. So let's get into this. Yeah, get into it. Stop. All right, so these these blasters have uh, eight packs with five uh, cards in each. I laugh because it's um, their little marketing ploy. They say seven packs plus one extra uh, with five cards each. Um, there is an insert of a master photo uh, on my last video. <laughs> I left it in the box and the only reason I knew it was there, I don't know how many I've probably thrown away, um, but I use the boxes to um, be cardboard filler for when I ship stuff um, to help protect. And I go to start cutting the box and what pops out? <laughs> but the uh, Acuna master photo from uh, the previous box. So it wasn't damaged or anything, but I don't always use the boxes. Um, it's a lot of times I just throw it in recycling. And I, I, <laughs> I was for a while saving like every one I, ha I had, but I filled up a small, um, probably like five gallon tub full of them and thought, well, I don't need any more. So who knows how many master photos are being recycled now? Maybe it'll raise the value for everybody else's. <laughs> I doubt it, but you just never know. They are cool. Um, smaller, obviously, than the uh, first iteration of master photos when they came out in the hobby boxes. Um, I still have some from somewhere. Always uh, liked it though. I, I knew a few, few people who actually, and I don't know why they did it, but they cut the card. They would literally line it up and they made themselves uh, a regular size card because you could do that with a bigger one. Um, but hey, to each their own, right? Um, I've heard other people DTM these, um, which I think would be a very cool thing, especially if you had some kind of, um, had them, uh, put something like uh, a special saying or their nickname or, you know, the, wherever they went to school or, you know, something cool. But yeah, enough of that. Let's get into this blaster. I have high hopes for something good. Hope everyone is doing well, everybody's healthy. Everybody has a smile on their face if they don't. Hope that they're working towards getting one of those. All right, this time, let's get it out of there. Jordan Walker, very cool. So this will definitely get added to my Sunday sale. Everybody, uh, I believe, who watches knows that every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, do a card sale. Lots of cards, lots of people hanging out, lots of fun. Great deals. Uh, there's no um, no premiums on on the cards, and uh, people who become channel members actually can save five percent um, off the cards they buy uh, for the uh, dog pound the the first tier. There's higher tiers if they want to save up to fifteen percent. So it's um, pretty good thing. Um, uh, it also I don't want to go into like everything that they offer, but there's a video if you want to check it out um, that talks about what you get in each of the tiers. So let's get into that first pack. All right, will the thrill on the first uh, checking in his armpit, see if he stinks. Matt Walner. Is that McGuire and Clark? Is, is it the, it reminds me of that um, Upper Deck 
photo of um, the photographer that um, does those. So this is the orange sepia, Andrew Vaughn. Not sure if he has the love that he used to have. And uh, Louis Sorbet. Shout out to uh, White Sox Tom on that one. Oh. Doogie just hit, just chilling. I wonder if he was doing interviews or if someone was just like, hey, we want to <laughs> take a photo of you right here. It's interesting. Tristan Casas. I love these ones with these stadiums. Just kind of like brings you into the, the game itself. Oh, very nice. Virtuoso, so, so <laughs> I can't even say it. Virtuosos of Velocity. Um, and this is the Otani. It says here uh, 118.1 miles per hour. So um, I think they uh, there's separate ones for different maybe achievements or things that they've done. Um, special home runs, uh, maybe season high home runs or something like that. Yeah, Miggy. Shout out to Lisa. George Kirby. And we got a red in there. Ooh, a lot of these are sticking together. Clayton Kershaw. Very nice Bo Jackson. It's like he is a uh, Maybe someone's asking to put two Mikey from Bo. <laughs> it really does look like he's asking of trying to find out something. Now, Cedric Mullins flying through the air. And that's a red. And then Willie Adames. So I think that's the first red so far. Um, there's red, black. Uh, I don't know what other colors. I think I've only so far pulled red and black. I got that black um, Acuna, which that one will be definitely in the sale. Uh, get it priced for this week. Oh, I bet this would look good with a red uh, Carlton Fisk. Brandon Crawford. I got Adley Rutschman. I like this one a lot. It's got the, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the bling, the big old necklace. I don't even know if they have a special name for it. That's cool. So that's a color match goalie, red, and Mr. Cortez. You know, as, as much of a color match as it can be, because it's not like the entire card is red, but it, it can add, we can make it pop a little bit more. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything here. So easy for me to do. I mean, obviously if I'm leaving stuff in the boxes, um, yeah, I did miss one of the rookies, so. I'll put that there. I always try to keep those moved to the side so that when I do the totals, a little bit easier. Another one that would look great with the red, Johnny Bench. Oh, there's a chrome there. Hope I didn't give away too much with that one. Nico. Love the outfielder just way back there. <laughs> This is nice. Full holes. Probably, you know, his last regular card from these sets. So that's a cool one. D.L. Hall. Not exactly the Oriole we're looking for, but still. We'll take it. I'll throw this in something now. I just, with Chrome, never trust them. Like I was saying, I can sneeze and somehow I scratch the cards, so. though. Gotta be uh, careful with them. There's a Mountie. Doing um, maybe the sprinkler. <laughs> if anybody's familiar with that, that's exactly how that, um, there is a dance where people will do that and their arm kind of goes to the side like a sprinkler would. So that'd be hilarious if that's what it was. Uh, Shane McClanahan. Trey Turner, Chief Fantasy. I bet Phillies fans love seeing that. Uh, Cade Cavalli, rookie. And I think some of the um, inserts can be the color variations too. Pretty sure. 
And there's also, you know, photo variations, autographs, all of that fun stuff. Garrett Mitchell, not familiar with him, but I have heard from some people that they think he has upside. Jay Lamb. Mookie Betts and some BP. <laughs> a red Beebs. Kind of a color match, too. I like that. That's cool. And O'Neill Cruz. Shout out to Bad Box. Last pack. Let's hope for some magic. Alright, Altuve. Uh, not looking like he knows how to celebrate. <laughs> Getting a little wet. Put the goggles on. Enjoy the moment. Chris Bryan alert. Giancarlo Stanton. Is that an alternate uniform? I think it is. Pretty cool looking. Oh, very nice. A red Wade Boggs. Shout out to Gradeworthy, Alan. And, wow, D.L. Hall again. Two of not the Oriole you're looking for. <laughs> All right. Um, let me do a total real quick, and I'll be right back. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. All right. I am back with the total. And just in case anybody's watching this halfway through, I didn't get two master photos, although I have in the past had that happen where um, somehow two of them were in a box, but uh, it's, yeah, definitely a rare thing. But the one that was in this was the Jordan Walker, um, the Robert Acuna, Ronald Acuna. Why did I say Robert? Uh, I blame, uh, I'm still uh, recovering from my spine surgery and I swear, these medicines just mess with my head uh, and memory. Can't wait till I'm done with them. All right, totals. There were 25 base cards. Yeah, boy. Base. Um, love these shots. Um, these these retro ones. Um, I'm I'm sure that a lot of them aren't like top specific uh, specific ones. Some of them could be, but I think you know with the um, fact that you can go to Getty Images and buy photographers' photos. Uh, this allows anybody who was a photographer during these times and didn't sell one of those prints previously as an exclusive to um, buy that print for however many. Um, you can, when you go to Getty or any of the other websites, um, sorry, I know this because I'm a graphic designer and I have to um, stock photography, things like that. You know, it's, it's sometimes necessary in design that you're doing. So those actual stock images can be purchased and they can be purchased for the web, um, being on a website. So it's like a kind of constant use thing. And there's a one-time use and then there's print and each one has a different cost to them. So my guess is a few of these came from Getty images. So um, I know a lot of people kind of always say, oh, Tops held on to this for a very, a very long time, but chances are they probably didn't. Um, but it could be the same photographer who they used because most of them were contracts um, photographers themselves because that, that way they could work for uh, Associated Press and um, other companies like uh, Sports Illustrated or uh, card companies. So it's a good gig. If you want to know more about um, a lot of that, um, you can, uh, I don't know how you'd actually contact him, but if you ever see Jeff Becker in um, chat, he he does that for a living. So he's a really cool guy. Um, he's very approachable. So say hi to him if you see him ever. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. All right, so where was that? The 25 base. Uh, rookies, there were six. Um, the reason that I had two DL Halls, and I noticed it after the fact, is one was actually um, the black variation. So 
I knew I was gonna miss some stuff and I definitely did. There were four reds, uh, zero of which were rookies, but three of them in my mind were color matches in the Shane Bieber, Wade Boggs, and Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, there was the one black um, for the orange sepia. It was the Andrew Vaughn. Um, so the one black was a rookie. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the uh, Virtuosos of Velocity. Shohei was a nice one. And then the other insert was Chief Fantasy Trey Turner, which, you know, he steals a lot of bases, hits for high average. He definitely probably on people's fantasy teams in my opinion and then the master photo Jordan Walker and it does say rookie on there so it's like a rookie um, rookie insert which they can still have value and hmm I like what you got good job I'm wondering if anybody's ever graded one of those that would be pretty cool I have some like giant um, here I'll show these real quick I have some giant cards graded. Mostly they're booklets, but the, the top loads are just so crazy. Whoa! See, this is what happens when you try to do stuff on the fly. <laughs> Apologies. All right, did I get that right? Kind of. Okay. So I have these up on my eBay store. If you ever wanna go there, in the description has a link. Well, at least uh, a URL, and you can go check out the uh, eBay store. But look how big that is. <laughs> I also have a magazine. Um, it is a magazine. Um, where it's uh, Beckett Authentic. It's a, an autograph that's gigantic like this. And then, uh, it's obviously the RG3. I didn't sell it in the time that I could have, and I wish I would have. And Justin Blackman was already in the issues that he had at that time. But the Joe Sackick is pretty cool. Uh, the fact that I got nines on these is actually really good. If you talk to anybody who grades a lot, um, I've uh, Ar Arnie's even said it, I think, in his videos. Thick cards are just difficult to get high grades on. Um, to get a 9.5 is almost impossible. I think I've only had three that have come out that way and I think it's just because of the edge and the possibility of chipping um, I could be wrong all right <laughs> this becomes an extra long video because I want to show these things off but here is the other one this is a slab but it's uh, for the Beckett Authentic. Uh, it's not a magazine, but on one side here, we've got Willie Mays, and then my PC, Ernie Banks, an autograph on there. So I think they're, I guess it's a connected photo. I'm not sure. Because what other reason would they have to, you know, put them both in one uh, one slab, unless that person was a super collector of uh, Maze and Banks, but this is a cool thing. It's just really unruly and big. And where do you store something like that? Um, I don't really have a place. I have a fire safe that I put my most expensive stuff in. I still think, though, if there was a hot enough fire, it's not going to matter. Most everything would get ruined, but. Uh, my insurance, I have an extra um, added on uh, policy to cover my sports cards because, um, yeah, you, you, you never want to, to have your entire collection go up in flames. Uh, that'd be devastating. And uh, most regular policies, they don't cover. Well, they cover, but it's only up to a certain amount. So I think maybe like 5000 or something like that. And... Um, I'd say most people have a higher um, value for their collection than 5000 So I'm not an insurance salesman, but I always do suggest to people to make sure that you have a policy. Um, if you are an insurance person, maybe put, put a, 
information in the comments and let everybody know wh where's a good place to go or, or um, you know, what is a good policy. Uh, I think mine is up to, oh gosh, it's, it has certain ones for certain things like flood versus fire versus natural catastrophe, like I guess if a tornado hit or something. Um, but yeah, you gotta read the fine print on it too. Boy, I'm really going off into La La Land. I do apologize. That is my, you know, train train of thought. Squirrel! My master made me this collar. He is a good and smart master, and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! I'm right over there, and um, you guys know. <laughs> and it doesn't help with these, uh, the medication that I'm on. That, that um, really makes me even worse. But uh, I hope you guys don't take it against me. It's all part of who I am. And I love you all. Hope you guys love me too. Uh, <laughs> and accept me for who I am. All right. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. And I hope you have a great night and or day. Take care.